It was just a couple of days back that Mike Horn hinted at politics influencing South Africa's team selection at the recent World Cup. Now, he has issued a denial. The topic was South Africa's semi-final against New Zealand, where an unfit Vernon Philander was selected ahead of Kyle Abbott, who had done well in the matches he had played. Horn, speaking at the Laureus Sports Awards, was quoted as saying that politics had a role to play in the team selection. Something must have happened in the last few days and on Saturday, Horn went back on what he had said, blaming newspersons for misinterpreting his comments. It would appear, of course, that there wasn't much to misinterpret in what Horn said. Horn, an explorer and motivational speaker as well as a high-performance coach with the South African team since 2011, said what a lot of South African journalists had said anyway. That Philander was included in orders from Cricket South Africa, who might well have been acting on orders from elsewhere, to increase the number of coloured players in the playing eleven. Philander is no spring chicken and has been one of the leading bowlers in the world over the years. But, at the World Cup, he wasn't at his fittest, and his returns in the matches he had played weren't impressive either. Logically, cricket-wise, it should probably have been Abbott playing that semi-final and not Philander. As it is, Philander conceded 52 runs from 8 wicketless overs and walked off the field. And South Africa lost, not only because of the selection issue, but it could well have played a part. The more astonishing stories to emerge from the aftermath of the World Cup, the South African selection scandal. And uh, let's be fair, journalists get a bad rap a lot of the time for misquoting players, misquoting officials. But in this particular case, what uh, Mike Horn said on the sidelines of the Laureus Awards, there was nothing ambiguous about it. Uh, It was fairly straightforward. It was reported in such a way. Uh, from his subsequent uh, apology to Cricket South Africa, it's fairly obvious that he's been leaned on. Uh, he obviously has a job to preserve uh, and has had to say what he's had to say. Uh, but I, I don't think there's any doubt uh, in anyone's mind about the truth of the story. Uh, within days of, uh, of the match happening, uh, I'd spoken to a couple of senior South African journalists who had uh, impeccable sources both within the selection panel and the team management about what actually happened. Uh, And they were all fairly uh, categorical about the fact that there had been pressure from the very highest levels uh, to meet transformation targets. Now, that's uh, that's something that just perplexes me. I mean, you're playing the biggest game possibly that your country has ever played, and you use that... uh, you know, for political grandstanding of some kind, it's just mind-boggling that you would actually jeopardize or risk jeopardizing a a place in the World Cup final uh, for a, you know, basically a political gesture like that. So I think this is a story that's going to run and run. Uh, It's uh, part of the unease that's always there uh, beneath the surface in South African cricket. It's been there for two decades now. And I'm quite certain that we haven't heard the last of this.